Hello everyone, welcome back to Mass Explorer. How to solve this nice and interesting exponential math problem, which is 10 to power x plus 10 to power x plus 10 to power x divided by 5 to power x plus 5 to power x plus 5 to power x is equal to 100. So here we will try to find the value of this unknown x. Now how can we solve this problem? Looking to the left hand side here in the numerator, this name number 10 to power x is added 3 times. But here in the denominator, this number 5 to power x is added 3 times. So here we can write this numerator and denominator as this is added 3 times. So we can write this as 3 times this number 10 to power x. We can also write the denominator as 3 times 5 to power x. But we can also take this number and this number common from the numerator and denominator as well is equal to 100. Here there is 3 in the numerator and denominator so this 3 will be cancelled with 3. So this will become 10 raised to power x divided by 5 raised to power x is equal to 100. Now look to the numerator and denominator both numbers have the same power. So here we will use an exponential identity of the same power. So here in the numerator we will use this one identity. We can write a raised to power n divided by b raised to power n as a by b whole raised to power n. So using this identity here the step hand side will become this implies here we will divide the basis 10 divided by 5 and we will take out the power out is equal to 100. So let's simplify these two numbers 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 2 is 10. So this will become 2 by 1 which is equal to 2. So this left hand side will become 2 to the two power x is equal to 100. Now look at to both sides, both sides, this number and this number are divisible by 2. So here we can divide both sides by 2. But here we can also take common log on both sides to find out the value of x. So here we will take common log on both sides and we will reach out the value of x. So let us take common log on both sides, log of 2 raised to power x is equal to log of 100. Now here in the left hand side we will use a logarithm result and we will move this power to the front of log. So here in the left hand side we will use this one logarithm result. We can write log of r s to power n s n times log of a. So using this result here we will move this power x to the front of log. So this will become x times log of 2. So this whole equation will become implies this will become x times log of 2 is equal to log of 100 but we can write this 100 as 10 square 10 to power 2 now here on the right hand side we will use this one identity and we will move this 2 to the front so this will become x times log of 2 this will become 2 times log of 10 here we can replace this number by 1 because this is log 10 having base 10 and we know that log of any number with the same base is always equal to 1. So we can replace this with 1 but here we will not try to replace it by 1. So let's divide both sides by log of 2. Also divide this side by log of 2. Now here in the left hand side this log of 2 and this log of 2 will be cancelled. So only x will be left here. So this will become x is equal to and here we can write this right hand side as 2 times log of 10 divided by log of 2. Now here in this one number we will use change of base logarithm identity. So here in this number we will use this change of base logarithm identity. We can write log of a divided by log of b as log of the numerator a with base of the numerator b. So using this change of base logarithm identity, this number this right hand side will become implies x is equal to this will become 2 times log of 10 with base 2. So finally x is equal to 
2 times log of 10 with base 2 is our answer and value of x. In this interesting exponential algebra math problem, then we will try to verify this value of x that as this value of x is the exact and correct value of x in this problem or not. So we will verify this value here. Now let's verify this value of x. x is equal to 2 times log of 10 with base 2. Now to verify this value of x here, we will write the problem again. No, the problem is this one. So we will write it again here. Now it is 10 raised to power x plus 10 raised to power x plus 10 raised to power x divided by 5 raised to power x plus 5 raised to power x plus 5 raised to power x is equal to 100. Now before to replace x with this value, first we will simplify this left hand side and then we will replace x with its value. So let's simplify this left hand side. So therefore we can write this as here 10 raised to power x is added 3 times. So we can write this as 3 times 10 raised to power x. With the same way we can write this as 3 times 5 raised to power x is equal to 100. And here 3 and 3 will be cancelled. And here these two numbers have the same power. So we will out the power and we will divide the basis. So this will become 10 by 5 raised to the power x is equal to 100. Now let's simplify these two numbers. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. Now here this is 2 by 1 which is equal to 2. So this will become 2 raised to the power x is equal to 100. Now here we will substitute the value of x. We will replace x with its value. So the value of x is 2 times log of 10 with base 2. So this will become implies 2 raised to the power. The value of x is 2 times log of 10 with base 2 is equal to 100. Next we can write this power as 2 raised to the power. This can be written as log of 10 with base 2 times this one 2 is equal to 100. Now here in the left hand side we will use an exponential identity. So here in the left hand side we will use this one exponential identity. We can write a raised to power m times n as a raised to power m or raised to power n. So using this exponential identity here we will out this power 2 from 2 raised to power log of 10 with this 2. So this left hand side will become implies this will become 2 raised to power log of 10 with base 2 whole raised to power 2 is equal to 100. Now here in this number inside the parenthesis we will use another logarithm identity. So here we will use this one logarithm identity. We can write a raised to power log of b with base a is equal to b. So using this logarithm identity here we will replace this whole number with this one number only 10. So this will become 10 and this equation will become this implies it will become 10 square is equal to 100. What is 10 square? 10 square is simply 10 times 10 which is equal to 100. So therefore 10 times 10 is 100 so 100 is equal to 100. Now since left hand side is equal to right hand side so it means that x is equal to 2 times log of 10 with base 2 is the exact and correct value of x in this nice and interesting exponential algebra math problem.